Hello everyone, my name is Jale, and today I'm going to share with you a video about the Persian New Year. The first of spring always marks the Persian New Year or Nuruz, and I want to share this video with you that is a little bit of a throwback. I filmed it with my father back in 2011-2012. Um, unfortunately, because of current political events, my father and my family are not able to be here. Um, I am half Iranian. My father lives in Iran. And his wife, my stepmother, she does not have her U.S. citizenship. And um, she does not have a green card. It expired. And because of the executive order and the travel bans on Iran, she is unable to get her application even reviewed. So it's pretty unfortunate that we have to spend holidays apart, um, but we have to do the best we can and we try to, try to stay connected through WhatsApp and through video chatting and all kinds of things. But it's a happy moment because it is spring and it's the new year. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, I'm Jale. And I'm Mike Satravi. This is my dad. Mm -hmm. And we are here to bring you a special episode of, you know, life. Yeah, New Year's. So some of you might know us from 30 Days with My Persian Father on my other channel, Sabato Jale. But we are here on the new channel, The Jale Show, just to uh, bring you a glimpse into our lives. So today we are going to talk about Persian New Year. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, now it's March, so it's coming up soon, and yeah. my dad's going to tell us a little bit about the significance of it and why it's important and some of the traditions around it. Yeah, uh, with the new moon uh, and the new springs, uh, the first day of spring, uh, new Persian years started, and uh, we're going to have, um, is a 2,000 years ago, you know, the, the old uh, fashioned uh, Persian uh, New Year's uh, during the uh, Zerostian, you know, what do you call them? Oh, the, um, yeah. Z, what is it? Yeah, Zer Zeradishian. <laughs> yeah, and, and they are, um, I believe that uh, the God was, his, their sons was a God, and uh, they always have the fires going on, and uh, they really, um, you know, believe in, in a new season, start of the new seasons and new years. So spring signifies kind of a new beginning, a new year. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you're supposed to do on a new year? Uh, and supposed to have new clothes, right? Yeah, new clothes and um, you uh, grow up the, you know, the weeds uh, on a, uh, a small plate and uh, they would come out, the grass come out of it. Mm -hmm. And after 13 days, they throw that away. Okay. You know. What does that signify? What does that uh, mean? The signifies of the New Year's, the, the green, uh, bring you the, uh, you know, oh, happiness like, and okay. full, full of flowers and. So uh, like uh, almost um, for farming, too. Harvest? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, lots of happiness and. Uh, Are there any traditions know. around like having a clean house? Yes, you have to clean up the house before the springs come up. Okay. So they call it spring. Uh, spring cleaning. Spring, spring cleanings and. Uh -huh. And um, they, they give up the uh, brand new coin to the kids, you know. Okay, so kids get money. Get um, what about food? What kind of food do you guys eat? Uh, lots of uh, sweets, lots of uh, nuts, uh, lots of fruits, fresh fruits, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like a big uh, juicy apples. And uh, they do a lot of things with the uh, sea, you know. Uh, you know, seven seas they do that. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. And uh, it's very important, you know, like cinnamon, sombol. Sombol is the name of the flowers. It's uh, like a, come out, the buds come out just outside. You remember those? Oh, yeah, like tulips? Like tulips, yeah. It's some kind of tulips. Okay. It's a blue tulips. Okay. Yeah. That's called sombol, you know. Okay. And um, uh, cinnamon, the, and salmon, and... Uh, salmon's eggs. Yeah. And, oh, in Farsi. My in the Farsi, yeah. Okay. And seke, seke is the money. Uh, and uh, the, the um, things uh, they they make it um, with the wheat, wheat flowers, you know, okay. and they cook it up and uh, they put the walnuts inside of it, um, you know. Like bakalava. Yeah, it's like a bakalava, but it's a it's like a soup style, you oh. know. It's like a yeah, okay. I mean, like a 
the peach cutlet, you know, it's something like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. You know, when it comes out, and it's delicious, you know. Okay. And um, well, it's got a little bit better s smell, the taste on it too. Uh, and that, that means uh, when you get in the sweets, you, you got to remember the better too in your life too. Oh. You know, you got to look at the upside downs of life. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot in the life that you have to expect. Uh, don't think about everything is going to be happy mm -hmm. and uh, everything hunker dory, you know, it's going to be lots of changes going to happen to you. All right. So let's do a Persian word of the day. So the Persian word of the day will be how to say Happy New Year in Farsi. Sale no mubarak. There we go. Uh -huh. That's how you say Happy New Year. And then, uh, what do you call the New Year? Uh, the no rules. No rules. No rules. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Thank you very much. So thank you for watching right. and stay tuned for more episodes with me and my father. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Kodafes. Kodafes. No rules for mubarak. Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you what I cooked me and my dad for lunch. So here it is, it's very delicious, try to be healthy, try to be fast about it. Just some jasmine rice with a cheese enchilada from Trader Joe's with organic black beans and a little avocado salad. Alright, so we're going to eat our delicious healthy lunch. Yes. And it's always important to try to eat healthy and it's okay, you can That's make right. a fast lunch in about 15 minutes. Nice. And it can still be healthy. We have our avocado, organic black beans, uh, enchiladas, and some delicious jasmine rice. So eat up. Eat up. Love you.